Back for more of game number two ng semifinals na to between Rainer Shine and Petron. Pinabanggit na natin kanina, no? Nung game number one, si Kraken, aba, kinain ang kanin. What a performance by the top overall pick of last season, or this season's draft. Kita mo naman yung extra rice inka. Belga Kinyan, although Kinyan played limited minutes, 7 and 7 lang si Kraken. Mahigit din noble yung ginawa ng dalawang yan. Right now, it is just gonna be extra rice solo in the eighth dahil walang kinyan. Pero he will start the second quarter on the bench as well as Junmar. Nandoron rin. Huge opportunity right now for the run. Good job on their part. Push the basketball. Make sure there's a lot of possessions at the moment because when you look at the five on the floor for them versus the five on the floor, gotta be the survey in their side. You'd think that they'd have more chances or better opportunities to get points. Ang lima ng Ross will have etong si Jerby Cruz. Ganti dyan din. Si Ron Matias. Larry Rodriguez, Chito Aime, and T.Y. Tang. Para naman sa Petron, we see Elijah Milsat, Chico Lanete, Chris Lutz, Marshall Lasseter, and Douglas Kramer. Mawian ng basket to open the second quarter. Milsat couldn't tie it again. May nawalan ng sapatos ha, si Lassiter, walang sapatos dito So it's gonna be 5 on 4 sa kabila Lanete though gets the steal That's actually getting chippy, remember Lassiter was the guy that took down Jaime earlier Kramer, working against Rodriguez Nabitawan ni Lanete yung pasa Millsap on the move Ball goes to Rainer Shine Lassiter, wala pa rin sapatos Tumatakbo pa rin doon sa tabensa. Nakanakaw na naman ng Petron. And it's gonna be four on none. Chris Lutz throws it down. And Lasseter continues to play without shoes. Yeah, you better go to Pichito Jaime right now. I, I, I would think he has an advantage over a guy that actually has one, one shoe. T.Y. gets it to Rodriguez. Napansin na ba nila na walang sapatos na isa? Ito si Lasseter. Si Jaime hingi ng hingi ng bola doon sa kabila. Rodriguez from the baseline. No. And will Lassiter get the rebound? <laughs> no. Pagkaba naman naka-rebound pa yun. <laughs> and finally, merong dead ball situation. Makakapagsintas na sapatos. Ito si Super Marcio. Wala nang higpit-higpit. Sinuot lang. Ayos na. Ooh, that's a turnover. Ball goes over to Petron. So, parang Rainer Shine pa na wala sa focus dito. But like you said, you know, this is this is a unit that I very rarely actually stays on the floor together the entire, the entire year. Lanete misses. Rainer Shine dodging a bullet there. Ay, may magtatawid ng bola. Rodriguez on the run. Kramer staying right in front of him. Ay, may for three. Doesn't work. Matias Ayaw, Matias pa rin, Natrabic, Ronnie forces it up and out. And I'm going to possession sa Rainer Shine. Now this, uh, we talked about the unit of Rainer Shine. Yes, we don't, this is a unit that we don't see much of. But what they're going to have to do is really just outwork that unit on the floor para dito sa Petron. Ay, may inatake kagad. Itong si Lassiter, sinalubong naman. At binutataan ito ni Santos. You like the aggressive in the I remember, you gotta remember, they had a fresh shot clock. Don't have to attack that early. As we take a look at this Rigzona Power Rebound, brought to you by Rigzona Man, with 50% more long-lasting protection, so you can do more. Matias had to exert all kinds of effort sa kanyang pakikipagbakbakan dun sa ilalim. They'll need a little more of that as we go along. Lutz misses, a rebound play, merong foul. Looks like Rodriguez pushed off against Kramer. Oh, Jervy Cruz pa, napituan dito. Nice, cool. Everything but the shot para dito kay Marcio. T.Y. Tang rushes the other way. Big pick coming from Jeremy, and that results in an offensive foul. Turnovers now starting to hurt Rainer Shine. That's three straight turnovers on their possession. And you just noticed, Jason, hindi pa ginagamit dito, ha? Three minutes into 
this second quarter as we take another look at that offensive foul whistled on Cruz. Kramer attacks, loses that leather, looks at the officials. Rainer Shine is pushing, looking to make him pay. Pero La Meta is there to bother him, and it's going to be another breakaway. Another turnover, another turnover that has led to ba a basket para dito sa Petron. Coach Yengyal looking up at the scoreboard. Nakatikim na ng kalamangan sa kauna-unang pagkakataon. Itong Petron. Rodriguez against Kramer. Tutulong pa si Lanete. They look to go to Matias. They turn it over again. Lanete to Santos. Arwin Dilipad. The finger roll bounces out. Chan para sa rebound. Chan lost his dribble. Gets it over the back. He's got to settle his players and then right now call the play to be able to get your boys just to settle down. Jeffrey with blood switching on him. Faking that spin, now fading away. Sean off balance. Couldn't bail them out. See the Rainer Shine team has not had a good look, a good shot in the last, in, in most of this quarter actually. Started a quarter. With an offbeat lineup, now Marshall Lasseter stretches their lead to five. Back with the leather, that that's a big to Rodriguez. P.Y. Taburito Lira, doesn't work this time, Kramer for the board. Right now, the front outworking Rainer Shine from the boards and also out hustling them, which are going to shots like this. Lasseter couldn't go back to back from the same spot. Rodriguez over at the other end. He pulls up in front of Kramer. Lanete para sa rebound. Chico gets it over to Lutz. Matias right in front of him. Lutz, you cross over. Pinigay Lassiter. Bang! Huge uprising galing dito sa Petron. Down by eight in the first quarter. Now already up by it. Etong Petron plays has turned to the long ball to turn the tide here in the first half. Lassiter pulls up for a three from earlier, and then it's going to be Lassiter again, located by Lutz over at that left corner. Lamang na ng walo ang Petron contra Rainer Shine. When you see those three pointers, it all starts out because there's a quickness deficiency at that small forward spot. First off, you can see Matias, he's not fast enough if Marshall decides to drive, so he has to give him space. Next time around, Rich Nuts beats, uh, beats Roddy Matias, which leads to a help on the part of Jeff Chan, which leads to that open three. Uy Luan, pinasok na ni Coach Yeng, and dyan na rin si AZ Reed, as well as Gabe Norwood. Belga, pinasok na rin, so four-man substitution ang naiwan lang si Jeffrey Allen Chan, as Lutz runs out of control dito sa kabilang dulo. And para malaman natin, ano nga ba ang kalagayan ni Ryan Aranya? Makibalita tayo kay Ms. Reza. Maguni lalagnat si Ryan Aranya. Bago ang laro na to, his temperature red 40 degrees. Kaya ang sabi ni Coach Yeng, hanggat maaari, ayaw na niyang gamitin para daw hindi na lumalayo sa pet. Magun? Kita mo naman, parang nag-chills pa si Ryan to sa bench. Yeah, and that's really tough because you don't have Paul Lee, you don't have J.R. Kinyahan, and you don't have Ryan Aranya. So that's actually three guys that are key participants or key players when it comes to minutes that you share among your players. Paul Lee is the leading local scorer para dito sa Rainer Shine. Ryan Aranya is the second leading local scorer. So Jeff Chan, who hasn't had his usual shooting here in the Governor's Cup, he's put up the points, pero yung shooting, hindi pa talaga tumatama ng ganun kaganda, will really have to explode here tonight para sa Rainer Shine. You saw kanina, si Pauli, ayun naman, si Jay Arquinyahan. Talk about digging a hole for yourself. Napakalaki ng problema ngayon, ang Rainer Shine. Pero they are within five points after those two makes. 36-31. Ang mas kalahati na tayo sa ating second quarter. Santos has that leather, going over to the Kraken, Junmar Fajardo, Belga right in front of him. Junmar looking to make his move, five to shoot, Santos launches a three, doesn't work, Norwood taps it, pero nobody's there, Lanete tracks it down para sa Petron. 
They look to reset that post. But a Belga is whistled for the foul. Take another look on the back of the The guys fight, try to fight position, fight for position there. As we send it over to Riza. Magu sabi ni Bobega ang hirap talagang kalaban ni Junmar. Ang tangad, malapad at ang bigat bigat. But I have no choice. Sabi niya masakit man ang katawan ko. Ita sa kripisyo ko to just to put a body on him without even having to fall. Magu. Pag si Bobega ang nagsabi na yung kalaban niya mabigat, eh kailangan tayo lahat eh maniwala. <laughs> 38-31, back to a 7-point lead para sa Petron after that stick back. Reed at the post, spinning baseline. Reed puts it up and in. Getting the friendly bounce there. Pick up this deficit to five. Lux, shake, big spin, no go. Rebound, uy, inabot si Fargo sa muka. Belga. And Rainer Schein could not believe it. Coach Yang is on the floor trying to argue against that whistle. I guess you, you got to take a look at the last two plays. When, when you actually, we showed you the last play in which Bo Belga got a foul for. It was almost a, a, an after the fact foul. This one, you can see the. Another tough, you can see that that's another tough ball. Does hit, does hit Junmar Fajardo with the elbow though. Made up dito. Po Belga so important. Dang kulang nga yung tao ng Rainer Shine. Millsap, huli! And on that rebound play, merong foul. At yung outburst kanina, na-warningan si Coach Cheng. And right now, looks like Coach Cheng wants to get teed up. Maybe just to fire up his boys. Chu on the move. Belga slides. No line of sight. Nalabas nila kay Rito na yung bola. Arizona loses it. Lutz picks it up and wisely does not issue the pass. Dahil na dapas si Milsap. And Chris actually able to get away with a foul right there. Chu contra Lutz. Dalawang miembro ng Gilas 1. Gets it over to Belga. Here's Chan. Nice fly-by move, fishing for that foul, baiting Santos into his third personal. Yep. Jeff Chan, all the locals of Rainer Shai. He's the most been the most consistent in this game. He's been consistent in terms of just being there attacking the defense of Petron. Chan takes care of the first. As Tubin looks to check back in. Santos and Papalitan Dito and Ronald Tubid. So Petron has gone a little shorter here with Millsap playing the four. But on offense, he's still going to win the ball here. Elijah to a Junmar pick. He's in the middle of the pin of Chris Chu. That's a blocking. On Chris. Blocking foul, that is. That's the second foul. Five on the West Pickers. And the long shooting two is Elijah Milsap. Milsap overshoots on the first. Very quiet day for him. Only that three-pointer to start this game. And then after that, we'll have a full post move from the Elijah Milsap. But so far, so good because, like we said, Elijah, one of those imports that really is just gives ko anong necessary para sa araw na Today, there's been a lot of help coming from Marshall Lassiter, so ayahan niyo muna yung mga local na gumawa. Four points in the game now para dito kay Elijah. Belga bounces it to Reed. Over at that elbow. Natapikan yung pasa, pero nasa lupa rin ni Chan. Oh, walang napuntaan yung tres sa rebound play. Merong foul. Looks like it's against Elijah Milsa. That's gonna be the second personal set import net on Petron. Reed na nakaw! Niluwa lang ng ring yung kanyang tira. Millsap on the move. Leaves it off for Kabagnot. Here's Tukit for three. Overcooks it. Junmar! 
Nila Yohanan ni Belga na ilang taloy si Fajardo. I pulled the chair from under him. That's exactly what he did because Sanay na buwa po ang kasi Junmar. Good job on the part of Bo. Belga lines up a pass. Moore would catch and shoot. A split second hesitation. Backfires on him. Now he looks to stop Millsap. Nakuha yun pa. Six point lead para sa Petron. Six points para dito kay Millsap. Less than three minutes remaining in this first half. Reed in trouble. Reed, saan bubunta? Lalabas kay Belga. Nabitawa ni Chu. Gusto niya sanang basa. Lots on the move. Pitin yung kanyan tira. Chu will push it the other way. Chris faking a pass. Finger rolls it through. Both teams, after all that running, needing a bit of a break. It's actually a two-on-one. Hindi na nga nakababay ibang player ng Petron dahil sa bilis ng pace natin. Tabagnog fouled by Chris. Not a good foul because that's actually going to be two free throws. Rainer Shine already in the penalty. And that's actually Chris's third foul. Pero... Oras na rin para sa ating mandatory timeout with 2-4 remaining. Pasalamatan muna natin ang ating mga radio partners. 90.7 Love Radio, 101.1 Yes FM, 96.3 Easy Rock at ang ating mga kapatid over at DZSR 918 AM Sports Radio. Nico Ramos at ang aking original idol na si Boy Beats Victoria with the call of tonight's action. 2.04 natitira sa ating second quarter. Alex Cabagnot is towing the line for two free throws. Looking to re-extend this four-point lead para sa Petron. Yeah, the pace of the game, napakabilis, but scoring not really that high given the pace of the game. Meaning to say, both teams, after shooting very well in the first quarter, slowed down a little bit here in the second in terms of field goals. Problema, wala yung computer. Kabag not splits. We hit this two-minute warning ng ating first half. Ang tampo natin na Sports 5 Center is gonna be coming our way once again during the break. Dito Alini, Richard Delosario at ang ating special guest na si Reynos Almasan ang ating nakakasama. As an offensive foul is whistled on Bo Belga, that will be his third. So many guys on the side of Rainer Shine in a, in a bench that's actually thinned out already because of injury. So many guys already playing with three fouls out there playing in the court. Chris Chu we mentioned earlier and then like you said, Bo Belga just picked up his third. At hindi pa umabot si Jeremy Cruz para palitan si Belga. Let's see if Petron attacks him right away. Next switch na si Reed dito kay Fajardo just to protect Bo from picking up another foul. So much work being done by Arizona Reed. Sayin kung magawa na score dito sa kapila. He also has to pick up Junmar Fajardo on the other end. That should be an offensive foul on Fajardo as this time siya na huling ng chicken wing dito kay AZ Reed. That's tough for Junmar because he's trying to establish position. But then yung bumabantay sa kanya napakaliit. Exacto, yung siko niya, dun lang tumatama dun sa ulo ni Arizona Reed. 42-37 is the score. It is still Petron by five. Ranger Chan looks to inch closer. Chan bounces it to Reed. Tinabot siya sa braso. Neto ni Fajardo. Second personal. On the rookie, June Mar Fajardo. Easy Reed is at the line for two shots. The Kramer checking back in para dito kay Fajardo as Reed missed on that first try. AZ cuts the deficit to four. A minute and 15 now remaining sa ating second quarter. Millsap. Misses. Millsap gets the, his own board, but saves it to the wrong man. It's going to be five on three. AZ bothered by Kramer. Chu looks over his shoulder and couldn't send home the three. Kramer Shine struggling mightily from that from three point range, has yet to hit a three pointer. And then Rainer Shine, the fourth tonight, shooting 24% from deep. Good enough for league worst in terms of three point shooting. 
Millsap hanging in the air. Voila, Kramer loses it. Cruz gets it over to Norwood. Asama niya si Reed at si Chan. Puts it up and in. Forty. It is Petron up by two points. Sampu segundo sa kanila shot clock. Kabagnot trying to finish with a left. Reed with a rebound. Rainer Shine can tie before we end the half. Reed goes to the wing. Jeff to the corner. Shoes got to go. Would have counted if it went. Pero nagminti sa kanyang tira. So at the end of the first 24 minutes of action, it is Petron with 42 points. Rain or shine with 40. The Sports 5 Center is coming up. Tutok lang kayo dito sa IBC.